Um, so the movie that I saw by myself, well, not by myself, my wife saw it with me, uh, was the movie Wolf Walkers. Um, we talked about this movie a couple weeks back. Um, it is it is one that is up for um um uh what's the movies that are the globe golden globe thank you it's up for a a golden globe award um and it is an animated movie found on um apple plus and it is the story of a little girl uh and her particularly her it's about the little girl but she her father's involved in it too um and they live in ireland um they they go to ireland from england to he's a hunter and she's kind of his apprentice if you will um and they go to this town to hunt wolves um wolves are are scaring the farmers and um they are you know attacking the people and and the overlord of this town um has determined that they need to kill all the all the wolves and so the father goes um to to kill the wolves and the little girl she's all there rearing to to be with her dad and to um uh to to learn and to show how good she is too and um and he's like no it's too dangerous right now you stay inside i'm gonna go she follows anyway because that's what petulant children do and um gets out into the woods runs into the wolves and she finds this little girl um who is with the wolves and the little girl kind of controls the wolves um and so the they start talking to each other um the little the two girls um and the the girl the main character is um robin and the actress who's voicing her i have no idea who it is um her name's honor um honor nefsi um uh, and then the father's actually played by Sean Bean, um, because why wouldn't it be? <sighs> you know what I think? Is that a spoiler for like what happens to him in the movie? Just the fact that he's voicing nope. a character? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. Nope. No, it sure doesn't. This this falls on the um, this falls on the other side of the, the Sean Bean lives his, his smaller <laughs> portion of movies. Yeah. Um, and then the Lord Protector, the Overlord of this town, is played by Simon McBurney who usually plays a sniveling person. Um, He was in... Oh, yeah, this guy. Carnival Row, um, Conjuring, Mission Impossible. Tinker, Taylor, Uh, Soldier, Spy. Such a good movie. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was just... Um, So he... uh, Oh, he was in uh, Harry Potter um, and the Deathly Hallows. Yeah. Um, So he's... He plays usually a kind of a sniveling kind of person um so anyway so the little girls meet um and the honor um ends up being um the or not honor that's not who the honor is the name of the actress robin character robin um gets bit by the other girl um and her name is the character's name is meb og mcintyre Meb something Omega. Irish. It's very Irish. It's a very Irish name. Um, and um, she bites her. And she comes to find out that this little girl, when she falls asleep, her spirit becomes a wolf, um, a physical, physical, tangible wolf. Um, and and her mother is the same way. Well, her mother has been sitting asleep for a very long period of time she has not come back to her body um and so the little girl and the other wolves in the pack are protecting her and waiting for her to come back and they 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 know she's alive but they just don't know where she is and she hasn't come back um during their interactions uh meb ends up biting um robin that night robin's spirit leaves her body and she becomes a wolf um and it's this is where that term wolf walker comes from um they are they because as humans they walk with the wolves they go with the wolves and at night the people don't realize it but at night they become wolves themselves their spirits become wolves um so that's kind of the the gist of the story as to what happens and and it's it's a matter of the the lord protector um wants to kill all the wolves the father um is hired to kill the wolves 
the little girl becomes a wolf. Mother is missing for the other little girl, the other wolf walker. There's your story. Okay. Um, I will say that the animation in this movie is top notch. It's so unique. So very cool. different style, right? It's very much like a book, like a story. It's like yeah. a story book mm-hmm. in a movie form. It's crazy how it does it. Um, but it's very much a, a storybook type situation. Um, the uh, uh, the storyline in and of itself is not the most in, um, intricate. It's not. It's not like this in depth um storyline very simple concept is something we all know and are and are familiar with um you know bad guy wants to to rule the people uh people uh he he gets the people to fear something and then they go and they go attack that something that they now fear um so it's it's a very simple storyline but it's very well done um the voice acting is great the little girl who voices robin as i mentioned her name is honor Great, great job. Um, really fantastic. Sean Bean does really nice. Uh, Simon McBurney. Um, they they do so well in bringing these characters to life um, on screen. The other little girl um, that plays Meb, um, Ava, um, she also it just overall voice acting is 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 fantastic in this movie. Um, the only complaint I guess I would have of the movie is is the, maybe the simplicity of the storyline. There was nothing about the storyline that makes you go, oh man, I didn't see that coming. You you really can feel it throughout the entire movie as to how things are going to transpire. Um, Do you that, think that's because of the target audience maybe? They kept it Very, simple? very possibly, um, because it is, I think, I think it is geared towards children. Um, I don't think it's necessarily like, an adult animation type thing like you know adults are gonna it's more for the adult than the child it's not i i do believe it's geared towards children and it gives this very cool little story that they can follow and and go with um so yeah to your point um uh jason there's the lack of complexity of it is probably due to to who it's geared towards um this is actually the so i don't know if i understood it a hundred percent but it appears that this is a third part of a movie, but it's not like it's not like their trilogy of movies that follow one another that are like storylines based with one another, but they're like they're told in the same maybe they're told in the same world uh, type situation. Um, but it 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 is it is the third of of um, third movie. Um, for this, these directors that are done in the way they that call it's done. it the um, the Irish folklore trilogy, and I, hmm. I would imagine that that's kind of like the um, if you're familiar with Edgar Wright's uh, movies, Shaun of the Dead, yeah, uh, Hot it'll... Fuzz, and World's End, where it's the Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy. It's kind of like that, where they they're linked by something sense. other than like storyline. So the other two movies are Song of the Sea and The Secret of Kells. Um, Secret of Kells was 2009, Song of the Sea was 2014, and then this one, 2020. Yeah. Didn't Song of the Sea win awards? I feel like I, I wouldn't be. That. I wouldn't be surprised. Its animation is different, um, yeah. which not that that has anything to do with what you just asked, but it, its animation is different. Um, so that's kind of it's kind I of feel, cool. I feel that like way. I remember it being like maybe like a claymation ish look to no. it. No. No, it's um, it's it's more of a flat drawing, if you will. I don't know how else to no, describe I'm it. I'm thinking of something different. Um, I've been thinking of oh, it's like Isle of Dogs. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, Isle of Dogs. That's weird animation. Well, that's that's like Wes that Anderson. Yeah, yeah, I didn't like that animation. Um, anyway, so I I would definitely recommend Wolf Walkers. Um, it is PG. Um, it's just shy of two hours long, so it is a little longer of a movie. Um, but I, I honestly think a child would appreciate it. Maybe not young children, but you know, that eight, seven, eight, nine, ten range. Um, I think they'd really get a, a kick out of it, but I, I do recommend this movie quite a bit. Um, very well done. Um, very enjoyable. Um, yeah, I like it. I liked it a lot. Apple TV, go check it out. Okay. Um, 
as an aside, not part of this review, yeah. since you yeah. mentioned that you didn't like, uh, or you didn't like the animation, or you didn't like Isle yeah. Dogs. Um, I did not. How do you feel about Fantastic Mr. Fox? You not seen that? I don't know anything about it. Okay. Because hmm. if you say you don't like that one, then we're gonna have to fight. I don't. I don't know anything about it. Now I have to look it up. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Mm. Yeah, I've never seen that. Mm. That's that. That's that same style as like box trolls, isn't it? Yeah. That so was uh, Isle of Dogs. No. Yeah, it's claymation. Isle of Dogs is claymation. Unless you're thinking of a different movie than I am. I didn't think. I thought Isle of Dogs was was just weird. That's not claymation. It's yeah, definitely stop animation. stop motion. Yeah. Oh, it is stop animation. Yeah. Okay. Now that I'm seeing it, for some reason I didn't remember it being that way. Um, interesting. It's di it's different. It's still it's just not the same. I don't know. Definitely it's different. My, yeah, it's mine. My, my Both mind. West Sander, uh Fantastic Mr. Fox is one of my favorites, like ever. So that's why we'd have to fight. Well, I wouldn't want to fight you because. That'd be sad. Fight words. 